the thing I the, the thing I think about is that like the young people or you know whatever out there in their hoods in the neighborhood where they always have been they may be up to shenanigans but you know I'm like we could you never care about working with everyone to give them options for not participating in shenanigans you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. that, that this is the constant thing it's a constant mistake that is made that to not engage and not work together to provide different options and grow and evolve together and make a utopian type community and society it's always exclusivity it's like it, for me to be here you have to go for me to be here and thrive and do what I want to do you have to go you're not included it's the it's the you know exclusion that mm, it just hits me in my in my crawl spaces and when I see our young people out here I'm like oh my goodness how long is it going to take before we're not seeing them anymore and we're all asking this question which always gets asked and you all know what it is where'd the people go mm -hmm. that's it <laughs> so we're walking around Germantown this is the point like we are still here like look at us like I want some of these gentrifiers to like ride by and see us doing this like hey what are they we talking about you that's <laughs> that's what we're doing we, we're trying to figure out how to maintain and, and, and keep our place and take our stand and work with you and you work with us so we can not feel put out of our own damn place. I mean, and not just any damn place. I mean, one of the most amazing damn places, Germantown. I think it's different in a place like this. Like it's extra, that feeling you have is extra. It's like, yo, but you're, now you're in the magical place. Now you're in the really super sacred place, you know? And so it's not the same as when you go and do it someplace else. I'm super biased, but I believe that to be true, you know? Uh, so many historical, so much historical importance, cultural importance here, and, and indigenous energy here. Now, you coming? You don't deserve this indigenous energy. You didn't, you're not doing anything along those lines to live that way, to have a call and response with that kind of power, that kind of spirit. Man, you ain't got no spirit. You got money. And you coming in and you taking over with all your money. Taking over. Okay? Not joining. Taking over. 